Hey, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to DIY this beautiful blush and gold glitter wedding invitation. Now, the gold glitter was a last minute decision, but as you can see, it turned out beautifully. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, I wanna give a special thank you to my children, Malachi, Jalen, Amari, and Essence for the necklace and earrings for my birthday. Thank you guys and I love you. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so to make this invitation, you are going to need the following items. You will need tape, a paper trimmer, some type of cardstock, which I'm going to be using Misty Rose. I am so obsessed with this color. It is a shimmer metallic cardstock and it is just gorgeous. So you're going to need three sheets of a colored cardstock and then you'll need one sheet of a white cardstock for your base. You'll also need a graphic and you would need your Silhouette Cricut or any other electric cutting machine. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be designing this invitation in my um, business edition software. So I have my graphic here already pulled up. What I'd like to do is go ahead and get my square tool and just draw a square on screen. My square is going to be four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Once I have my square on the screen, I'm going to go ahead and take my graphic and just center it into my square, my rectangle. This rectangle here is gonna act as your invitation paper. So your invitation is going to be four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to center them to make sure everything is centered correctly. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over to my text tool and begin typing out the text. Now for the sake of this video, I already have one, not that one. I have one put together already. So we are ready to go ahead and cut and print or print and cut actually. So for this, we're not gonna use any registration marks because this is just going to be a print. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video to print this and I'll be right back. All right, so our invitation base card printed off beautifully. That's exactly how it looks on the computer. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we are going to cut out our pocket fold for our invitation. So this is gonna be a laser cut pocket fold. This is where you would need your two colored cardstock sheets. So these two here are the flaps. This is gonna be one eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. And then we have the actual card itself, which is another eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, which you can actually see here. So what I'm going to do now is take our Misty Rose cardstock, put it on our mat, and then I'm going to cut 
this here as well as this now before I go ahead and cut it if you can see let's see let's zoom this in a little bit because I have two colors here I have red for my rectangle and then I have a green line down the middle when I cut these I want my red to be cut on heavy cardstock but you're going to want to do three passes if you're doing a metallic cardstock such as the misty rose and then my green line I'm going to do a score line which is good enough for just one pass so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video to cut these and I'll be right back all right so I went ahead and cut out the flaps for the pocket this is how they come out what I'll need to do is go ahead and poke out each part that has little indentations in it you'll want to poke those out and just pull them the whole way through for the smaller pieces such as this little dot right here you'll need to go ahead and use some type of poker tool I have a hook here and this hook just goes into those small little parts and you can just pick them right out so I'm going to go ahead and finish poking out all these parts and then I will come back and show you the finished product all right so I'm back I went ahead and poked out all of the little holes in my flaps and I pulled my backing card out of its frame so as you can see I have a line here that is my score line that was created with my cameo so I'm just going to go ahead and fold this directly in half all right so now I want this to be just like it is this is my front my inside my back I'm going to take the smallest flap and it also has score lines and I'm just going to fold those in to create a little pocket I'm going to apply my adhesive tape on the flaps that I just folded on the inside and there is a chopper flying above my head I am so sorry it's a busy night in New York City All right, now that I have my tape on those flaps, I'm going to line this flap up with this side of my cart. Now I'm going to take this flap, this is our side flap, and I'm going to fold on my score line. And I'm going to put my tape here on this side as well. line this edge with my score mark now I like to leave a little gap just so it can close properly but just a small gap is all you need
all right now that that is on there the pocket fold is complete and it closes with no problem now even though we do see this little part right here this little seam that's not going to be shown because our actual invitation base is going to cover that part up so let's go ahead and cut our base up now we made our base to be four and three quarters by six and three quarters so I'm going to get my trimmer and I'm just going to cut four and three quarters by six and three quarters So I'm going to hit and cut that down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And now that I'm looking at it, I think it looks beautiful, but I think it would look even better with a gold glitter background behind this white layer here and in front of the pink layer. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this a little bit smaller, maybe to about a four and a half by six and a half. And then I'll add um, a four and three quarter by six and three quarter gold glitter background just to have a little gold glitter trim around it. I think that'd be beautiful. All right, so I went ahead and I cut out my gold glitter background and I also cut a gold glitter belly band as well as I printed a name tag and I cut a little backing for the name tag I just cut this out of this little sheet here so I use my scraps left over from this pocket to make this so now I'm just going to go ahead and put it all together I like to go ahead and start with my base I just flip that over and just tape it down I am so sorry again for the noise it is not spring yet but it's warm it was warm today about 61 degrees New York is already loud but it gets louder here when it gets warm all right, so I went ahead and added my adhesive to this. I want to go ahead and just put them together. You just want to make sure you put it on evenly. So when I eyeball it, make sure it's all even before you actually push it down on there. It looks pretty good to me. And as I thought, that gold glitter behind this design actually looks really great. It's beautiful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my adhesive to my gold glitter backing.
and this will go right on here and again you just want to eyeball it make sure that it's all straight and even on all four sides because you want the pink to act as a backing just like your gold glitter acted as a backing for your white you want your pink to act as a backing for your gold and it will all make sense once I put it together and show it yep that looks good that looks great actually as you can see we have our white then we have our gold then we have our pink and you can see the pink on all four sides as well as the gold that is beautiful I am so obsessed with this color pink pink is my favorite color but this color is just so gorgeous now just to uh, add a few things if you're going to be using a metallic this is a metallic cardstock you see the shimmers if you're going to use a metallic cardstock for this design you are going to want to make sure you put it on three passes if you're using a silhouette cameo you really need three passes because the metallic cardstock is thicker and heavier than your matte cardstock so you need three passes your matte cardstock you only need two but for the metallics you need three this is really small so it's kind of hard to center it properly but I got it now we're just going to close it up as you can see it closes we're going to take our belly band I just cut this um, by eyeball but I like to make my belly bands about one and a quarter inch thick so basically you're going to just lay your invitation on top of the belly band and just wrap your belly band around it you don't have to do anything special for your belly band I like to put my finger here and then I want to add glue or adhesive up to where my finger is that didn't come off okay sometimes when you're using the scotch tape runner yeah as you see it actually uh comes off and I have a ball of tape now which sucks because you're wasting tape but I still swear by it I hate using glue on invitations but sometimes you need glue when it comes to the glitter papers All right, it's stuck. Okay. And that time it didn't. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and just use. Okay, it's sticking. It's really hard to get the tape to stick to the glitter paper. I mean it sticks once it's on there but it's hard to get it to actually come off of the roll there we go and I have tape on my finger all right now we're just gonna flip this over on the front 
and add the top part of our belly band, which is the name tag. And you can add uh, some little rhinestones or crystals to this. I usually add some crystals, but I'm not going to do that today because they're not near me. All right, so you just want to center this. And once you have it centered, you can just press it down. I think it's gorgeous. That is beautiful. Don't be surprised if the thumbnail has rhinestones here and here i think this is gorgeous the way it is but i think the rhinestones would just add a little extra pop of sparkle but that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it please make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell i'll see you in the next video and have a good evening thanks for watching